Shalom and welcome to two minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Ketuvot Dafyomi Chav Chet Amid Aleph. What it discusses the case of uh, Grusha, one of the lachas of Yichud. So it's fascinating. We all know that uh, there's an Issa Daraita, according to most posts, of Yichud, a, a man with a, a son who's an erva, someone who's not allowed to be with, so he cannot be alone with her either. And it has to be a play. They can only be in a place where it's not Ra'i Lubi, or they cannot come to have relations with each other. It has to be in a public place. It could be in a home where the door is open, or a home where someone is going to walk in any moment. A lot, a lot of halachas of uh, details of Yichud. There's an additional Chumrah of Yichud that's set up with the man and his Grusha, his ex wife. That when it comes to the regular halachot of a man and a woman, so the standard halachot of Yichud. And as long as they avoid the conditions of Yuchad, then they're fine. However, when it comes to man and a grusha, there are extra stringencies that are placed upon the couple or the ex-couple. There is a fear that uh, if they are alone, even if halach is not Yuchad in this typical sense of the word, that they could lead to them coming together again because of their history together. And even though there was a divorce, that they can end up being together and uh, quickly be together. And therefore, even to be to living together in the same chatzer would be a problem. This doesn't happen that often, because very often once there's a divorce, then uh, the couple will make sure to live far away from each other. But it's not impossible to have such a case uh, where they could be in a building, uh, living in an apartment, and uh, they're both happy where they live, and uh, neither one wants to go far away. And... Uh, they go ahead and uh, they want to each stay in the building. Well, there's a, a possibility of a double apartment in the building that they ha shared when they were married. And now they decide we both want to stay in the building, so we'll just split the apartment up again. It was one originally. We, it was two apartments. We made it into one. Now we'll make it into two again. So in terms of a typical sense of Hilchas Yichud, it would be totally fine. But if it's a divorced couple, then that's considered to be living together in one chatzer. Now, Gemara prohibits such a case. One of them would have to move. Which one would have to move? Of course, that would be discussed with the posseg. A lot of variables involved, but they cannot remain in the same building, even if they split up the apartments, and there's 12, 14, 16 apartments in the building, and normally that's fine for a man to have one apartment in the building and a woman to have an apartment in the building. That's not considered yichud. But in this case, it's considered to be living together in one chatzer, and that would be an issue of yichud specifically for this couple. Shalom.